everybody welcome back to my channel it's monday and i have a timu haul to share with you today i have um a package that came in last week and i just haven't had a chance to film it until today so i just want to come on here and share with you the first thing that i'm going to share with you is this um little pack of saint patrick's day paper it is six by six and i don't have any St. Patrick's Day paper, so that's why I went looking on Timu to see if I could find something like that to um, use for my St. Patrick's Day crafting. So it's pretty self-explanatory, and uh, so this is the top layer. This is like giving you a basic sample of everything that you get in the package, like, you know, cute shamrocks, plaid, like argyle. Um, pots of gold, little leprechauns, and little corn top pipes. So, um, this is the first one. You get these little green hats with the little shamrocks and little orange balloons. So, that's pretty cute. And this does have a strong smell. Almost smells like way too much like colored ink. Like they just came off the printer. And these are not double sided. So, I'm just going to take out all the the papers that you do get here's one with like little um sorry my light is not the best right now you get like um the pipes with the hats and the gold coins and the shamrocks in this one so ever since i was a little girl we've gone to like every saint patrick's day parade growing up where they were always like really fun and exciting have a lot of happy memories of seeing the clowns and you know the Irish dance jig dancers. There we go. There's another one. I'm just gonna lift them up. This one has green beer in it. I mean, I don't even know. Do they actually? I think they do make green beer now, but it's just funny that they have paper with green beer on it. And it says, I love Irish. Has like a little chartreuse color on the back drop there for you. Um, there's that one. And, um, yeah, so I have a lot of Irish memories growing up, so I have a little uh, bit of a obsession with St. Patrick's Day. Also, in grade school, one of my classmates, she did the Irish jig professionally. Like, that was, like, her thing. She was an Irish jig dancer, and she, and, um, she was really nice, and she was just um, super sweet. So... Here's another one with the little leprechauns and the rainbows. I've noticed my phone doesn't focus that well anymore. I don't know if it's because I have a new phone. My other one got like broken the glass, so we had to replace it. And it just doesn't focus as well as my last one. I think this is like a basic iPhone. So anyways, that's all the papers that you get. I think, yeah, you get 12 sheets of the 6x6. Six so, and then I got a couple of dies, um, one of the dies that I picked up, and it has, um, here it says, lucky, and it has a little pot of gold, or it's like a cauldron, but it has a shamrock on it, and then it has, um, like the, um, I guess these could be like the, the holes for the top of the tag, if you wanted to use a different type of hole, it has two different holes here. And then it says lucky and cursive, which is really cute. I like that. And then there's another tag on this side. Here, let me just hold it. I can't even see what I'm showing you. So I'm trying to like look scrunched down under the camera. So that's that's basically what I'm getting um, are these two tags. This one and this one. Here, let me put it against a piece of paper so you can see. This one has like um, a rainbow with little shamrocks over it, like over each section of the rainbow top. And then you even get this round tag. So you get three tags, the round tag, like the traditional tag with like the, the corners that go up and straight. And then you get this one with the curved corners. And this one says, um, good luck. Good luck, and that has a shamrock, and then it has like even has like a cute little border that's kind of like um, has like little curves, to kind of make it look fancy. And then you get a couple of shamrocks over here, 
you get a little like horseshoe in this corner here. They're small, but the tags are pretty big. And I like the little tiny rainbows and the shamrocks. And you get one, two, three, four shamrocks here. And you get the words good luck, good and lucky, and another lucky and cursive. And you get one, two rainbows. You get one cauldron with a shamrock on it and four shamrocks. You get two four leaf clovers and one just and two um, regular clovers. And there's even three little hearts here. So it's really cute. I think it was a good deal. It was very inexpensive. It was only a couple dollars. So I'll put that one down here in case you want to zoom in. And then I picked up another die set that's really small. I didn't know what to expect. And I don't know, is it just me or do they not have measurements for some of the dies? Because I, I don't remember seeing a measurement for this one, but it was tiny. I think I noticed that it was tiny and they're like little tiny teapots. They're really, really small. I can't even open it. Oh, it drives me crazy when they're sealed like this. But you get um, you get the, this little tea set, which I think is cute. And there's like a little um, a little mug and a little teapot and like stacked cups with a little heart. And you even get like the, the little like smoke puff there in the middle. See, it's like a little curly smoke um, gesture. So I thought that was cute. And compared to this size, you can see the difference in size. This is the Lucky Set um, tag set, and this is the teapot set. <laughs> it's like super small in comparison. So I got that die set. And then I picked up um, this Easter die set, which is really, it's small, but it's not as small as the tea set one. But it's cute because you can do embellishments, and they're not going to be too big, which I like. So you get an Easter basket, you get a present, you get a bunny, a profile of a bunny, a little chick, a candle, and an egg cracking in a little mini basket. So that's pretty cute. Let me put it, let me put it up against this, hold on, just dark paper here. So you can see what you get. And then I picked up um, this postage, I picked up this little postage set. I have a bigger one, but this one's like actual size of like stamps. So I thought that'd be cute to use to do some little stamps, embellishments. And, and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, stamp sizes in that one. I'm not even going to attempt to try to get that back in the plastic. That's like way too hard. Okay. And then I picked up this little eyeglass set. Hope everybody had a nice weekend. It's really beautiful out here right now. And I'm just excited that it's finally going to warm up for spring. I got this set of glasses. Now this is about two inches wide and about a little less than an inch tall so this is not that much this is not that big it fits in the palm of my hand but still it's a pretty good size I think so I got that one and that set like the, the cat eye glasses so those will be fun to work with and that's also a good size for embellishments so they will fit on like ones that you can make but anyway, she showed a sample of this die set and it was really cute. So I wanted to get it. And so I asked her if she would send me a link and she did, which was really, really sweet. And she's really talented too. So um, if you haven't uh, ever checked out her channel, go check her out. And she's really sweet. So I will put a link down to her channel below if you want to go check out her channel. And then I picked up this really fun stencil this shamrock stencil it's like plastic and you can use like a stencil brush to leave this cute impression you can like do your own shamrock paper and use your own colors so i thought that was fun at first I, originally i thought this was actually a die and then when i realized um it was coming in the mail it was actually a stencil so 
that's what I thought it was, but it, it wasn't. And then the last die that I have here, I picked up this really cute cherry die. So this is actually a good size, I think. I did order some actual like cherry charms, but they were like microscopic. I can still use them, but this is at least a decent size, the cherry die. I thought that was cute. So that's everything for the dies I ordered from Timu. And then um, I picked up some beads. So I picked up these really cute pink <clears throat> heart beads. I saw um, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. She bought these beads. I thought they were really pretty. So I picked up some and she had links to the beads. So it was easy for me to order them. So thank you for that, Alicia, if you're watching. And she has a really good eye for beads and a lot of other things. She has a really good taste in it, and I love her taste, so. And then she ordered these um, really cute flocked beads and these pretty, pretty colors, perfect for Easter and spring. And they're like super soft. They have like a fuzzy feeling. So I picked up these beads here. I only got one set of each just so I could see them in person. And then if I like them, I can always get more. That's if they don't sell out. <laughs> and then the last thing I got from Timu was this set of these like sugar coated beads that she also had ordered on her channel. I thought those were really, really, really pretty. So I picked one set of those as well. Where is the camera lens? There it is. And they have like a, like a, like they were dipped in sugar coating on them. I didn't get any pink ones and I got some weird brown colors, but the light blue and the seafoam green are really pretty. And I guess if you put it with the right colors, you can make them pop a little more, but these, these colors are actually not my favorite. So um, that's everything from Timu. I'm just gonna share um, a couple of things I got from Dollar General and this little toy shop that I discovered in my area. And um, I saw these really cute stickers in this toy store. And I just thought they were so cute. And um, I just, I picked them up. I thought that was really pretty. You get this big roll of all these different little stickers on here. And they have these cute little girls. They're called um, My Doll Collection. Never heard of it before, but. So you get this big roll of all these cute stickers. And I feel like you could find something like this on Timu, and that's probably where they ordered it from. But the chances of me finding this again on Timu in a roll, I don't know. I It might be possible, but I don't really have time to go like on a hunt to find this exact same roll of stickers. So um, it was a little on the pricier side. This was like $6 for this roll, but I think you get like at least 50 stickers on here. So they're really cute. So I bought that. And then I picked up this pack of stickers. Let me check the time here. Okay, I have a little bit of time left before my son gets off the bus. So this pack is just all pink stickers and I think they're so pretty. So you get this little <clears throat> heart mirror, this little thing of glasses in the heart shape. This cute little pencil sharpener, teddy bear, um, a bow sticker, <coughs> excuse me, candy piece, a little heart-shaped um, dessert treat, a lollipop, a little chicky, a bow. So these are all pink things. Look at this one. This one is so, oh my God, <coughs> excuse me. This little bag that says, please, thank you, come again. Oh, I love that one. There's like even a little rose on the bag. Um, a pink milkshake. So they're all pink themed. Look at this one. I love it. It's Dorothy's slippers on a pink television set. So adorable. God. A little pink radio. A little pink bunny. So... Look, it's even a My Melody. It's a picture of a My Melody, like, um, kitchen appliance. Can you see that? 
So, oh my god, look at this tape. It says fabulous. I love it. I'm so glad I got these. I didn't have time to look at all of these in the store, but I did like a lot of the ones that I saw, so I just picked it up. Look at this bow. A pink butterfly. Atari, a pink Atari game controller. A pink starfish soap. <laughs> look at this. So these are so cute. Oh my God, look at this little pink record. More pink cat eye glasses. I love it. Look at this old school phone. Ice cream cone. I have to go soon. Um, anyways, so I'm just going to quickly just show you a couple more and then I have to fly out of here and pick up my son from the bus stop. Okay. Let me see if there's anything. Oh, look, two stacked cups that say love you on it. How adorable. Compact. Pair of shoes. Strawberry cake. Oh my god, this is so freaking cute. Anyways, that is my haul. Oh wait, I have one more thing to share with you. This is from Dollar General. This is a little unicorn in a bag. And this is for my son's teacher, and it stays in the bag. I think it stays in the bag. Oh no, you could probably take it out. It's like a little unicorn and it says hugs on it. And this was like 34 cents on clearance from Valentine's Day from $2. So that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Isn't it so cute? All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and leave a comment and say hi. All right, bye.